Guys, welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room. We are starting to finally get grown in this particular room. I've got cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes. I've got green beans. I've got potatoes going. And by the way, the potatoes are starting to die back, which is a good sign because they are going to be harvested soon. I've got bell peppers in my other room. I've got spinach and two different kinds of lettuces. Actually, i got up like 12 spinach going right now. So, lots of things growing in the house here indoors. But we are into March, and March means it's time to start thinking spring, and it's time to start thinking spring starts. So, I have my onions going, okay? These have almost been in a month, and they're only to this point. These are those Bianca Di Maggio of flat Italian smaller type onions, and they grow unbearably slow. So they're going to get a good two to three months in here before they're transplanted outside to finish off in the garden. However, what I did want to talk about is uh, the peppers that I got going on. Two overwintered peppers and four pepper transplants that start, were, were started from seed, for, particularly for this grow. I'm going to do a harvest in here. I'm also going to uh, be taking these out. I'm actually going to do something that's a little different in that instead of overwintering these seedlings, I'm going to oversummer them. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to shear them down. And I'm going to give them about a 30-day dormancy period, okay, to kind of recollect themselves, kind of slow down, get some energy going type of thing. I'm going to take them out of the room for about 30, 40 days, and then I'm going to come back and reintroduce them into the room and see if we can't get them growing again. I think that downtime will be important. After the downtime and after they've been reintroduced to the room, I'm going to give them about 30 days into this room to start generating new leaf growth, things of that nature. And then I'm, if, if I'm successful, I'm going to then transplant them out into the garden come May, and we are going to try to oversummer them. So I think that'll be kind of a neat idea. Now, what have I learned from the two overwinter bell pepper plants? Well, what I have learned from these is I didn't give them any downtime. I took them from full production mode chopped them down, introduced them inside to a summer environment, and they just didn't have that downtime. They didn't have that dormancy period to recollect themselves. Now they're root bound, um, they look stressed, and uh, they've produced a lot of fruit for me. But you know what, they're just not what I thought they'd be at this point. And frankly, I think it's because they didn't have that down point. So let's take a look at the pepper plants, shear them off, make some room for some spring transplants, get these out of here for a good month, and then reintroduce them back. So okay, guys. So this is not like the first harvest that I've done. I've actually been slowly picking these plants and getting some of the ripe ones off of there. And now I have another flush of ripe ones here. And this is that cardinal hybrid that I've been growing. And this one's kind of a neat one. It turns uh, red. So as you can see, it's shifting over to red right now. And some pretty decent size. Nothing huge. Nothing crazy. But these are incredibly thick walled. So if you guys haven't tried these cardinal hybrids before, I would strongly recommend them in that they are really blocky. I mean, this is there's not much hollow uh, going on inside these particular peppers. So these are uh, these are really cool. They're real tasty. So this one is uh, my first harvest. So I'm gonna pick this clean. Okay, guys. Sure here's that Asian bell, and here's what it looks like when it's growing. And they actually come in like a deep, deep purple, okay? And then they turn green uh, about halfway through, and then they eventually will kick into all red, like a deep crimson. And this is a really cool pepper. I've been really enjoying this. I got two of these plants going, and these are a shorter, more compact um, bell pepper plant. I really like that. I think this would be cool for the landscaping. So I'm probably going to start a few of these indoors this spring just to plant out in the landscape just because they are shorter, compact, bushier plants. So this is really cool. I think I'm going to trim this one back and I'm just going to leave one to continue growing in this room for another couple months. See if I can't get it budding again and throw okay, it on some new This is the fruit. Cuadrato de Asti Gallo, guys. This is probably my favorite pepper of all only because of how cool it looks when once it's done growing, it gets this yellow uh, with some green shoulders type of thing going on to it. And it's a really cool pepper. It's a tasty pepper. It's a big four lobe pepper here. So really cool. Uh, I encourage growing these. These have been a fun little grow both indoors okay, and guys, out. And now this overwintered monster. And this is the king of the north, okay? And it put on a ton of fruit 
uh, for me and I'm gonna have quite a bit going on here now this plant is starting to get really stressed out so I don't know if I should trim it back or just keep growing but boy I'm gonna get about 15 20 you know sort of semi small peppers off of this thing a couple of big ones but nothing extraordinary but what the heck man this is the it's, it's March and we're picking a bunch of peppers and I've already picked a few off of here already so this has been really cool this overwintered uh, bell pepper thing it's just digging it up bringing it inside and putting it under some lights and letting it go so this has been real cool I've been liking it. Alright guys all of my peppers have been trimmed back and taken out of this room I have made a lot of space in here for these uh, towering tomato plants that I got growing which will be a different video however um, I have a three gallon bucket here this is again my second or third harvest this is obviously my biggest one but I've got all kinds of peppers of different shapes colors and sizes in here three gallon tote and you know what man this has been a really cool thing now was it worth the cost hell no man it's not worth the cost you can buy peppers way cheaper at the store but has it been fun hell yes it's been fun because this is about growing vegetables a different way it's about growing inside over the winter when you're sheltered inside from the winter and uh, this has been really cool really fun and totally worth it for me because I had I'm blessed in that I can afford the electricity costs in here which is about 50 bucks a month so uh, this has been fun got lots of different crops going on in here created a lot of space made some space for some spring starts so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this bell pepper grow in here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue this grow outside in a couple of months so uh, take care guys and God bless you